Hello, welcome back to Andy Nottos Motorsport. And this episode, I'm going to be showing you this bad boy. The EETH300 Diagnostic Thermal Imager from Snap-on. This thing, I've had a play with it, is downright awesome. Just throw it out there straight away. Um, I'll set you up and we'll have have a little look at the unboxing it's not i've had a play with it but still here we go there it is this is exactly how it comes in the box put that over there you've got your safety instruction stuff there we go put that in there Quick start guide, yeah, okay fine, open it up, it tells you all about it, kind of looks like that, and now, here it is, you've got your, your charger, which is your normal USB, It's a two amp charger, so you can use it for your smartphones and stuff. You've got your, I believe it's a micro USB connection. So if you're on Android or Windows phone, like I am, you don't even need to take it out because you've probably already got a phone charger at your box and the good bit it's not particularly big there's your little screen that's the button to take a picture and in the top we have a memory card and the charge point and a really sort of crap rubber boot. So we'll just turn it on. Ding! There we go. That's it. Um, there are some options. Menu. It comes loaded with presets. So... Catalytic converter, known goods, so that is, I don't know where you can see it, it says at the top known good, that's how one should look, known bad, and it gives you a little description on it, so thanks. Uh, pulleys, bearings, transfer cooler, differential intercooler. A known good intercooler. There we go. A known bad one. Loads of things. O2 sensor heater, which could be useful for some people. Known good. Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh, no, that doesn't. Heated at glow plug. Known good. Yeah, thanks. Known bad. That's quite some difference. Uh, cooling fans, radiators. Radiator's a good one. Known good. Yep, as it should be. Oh dear, that's not so good. Um, also, there are, if you then scroll across to settings, colour palette, brightness, temperature, power. There's loads of stuff in there. And to be honest, I haven't got through half of it. But, I just want to show you some of the things I've been playing with. Uh, I think it's that one. There we go. So I'll start at the first image. This one, I got it out of the box, and the first thing I did was pointed it straight at a Lucasade bottle. There's where the fluid level is. So, then I've been playing around with some other things. 
your phone, your phone on top of your worktop, oil cooler, top hose getting hot, exhaust manifold, see, all four, there was a misfire, there was three, misfire cured, misfire, misfire cured. So this thing has its pros and cons. Its cons are it's downright expensive. Its pros, if you see my hand on the imager, look, it doesn't matter if it's shining It's just looking for the heat. See, if I move my thumb in, it recognises that this is hot and changes automatically. So if I move my hand out the way, it changes. There we go, we'll do that. You can see the torch is on, but it's not generating any heat. So it's not picking up. So we'll turn that one off. We'll turn that one on. So it doesn't matter how bright it is, if there's no heat there, which is what it's picking up on, nothing's going to happen. Now if I do this and use the uh, the trigger on the back, and put my hand back in, and just pull the trigger, it's taking a picture. There you go, now it's popped up, use the left to go to your pictures, great. Turn that off because it's bright. This thing is sensitive enough it's sensitive enough that it will pick up uh, a faulty wire that's got a high resistant join in it. Um, gone are the days where you need to do spillback checks you know, you have to take the, the spillback pipes off diesel injectors, test flow. Yeah, they're all gone. Get that out of its box, shine it at it. Is there one leaking back? Yeah, the one that would normally go high. Yeah, that injector will be cold because it's flowing more diesel through it and pumping it back. So that injector's cold. The rest will be a constant temperature. Is there one that's using more? That one will be hotter because it's not flying any back through the injector. Um, cats, heated circuits on O2s. As you can see there, it's expensive, yes, but if you're doing the diagnostic stuff, I think in the past, I've had it about a week now, I'd say that saved me four hours this week and I'm still getting to grips with it I'm still learning how to use it properly so when I've learned how to use it and what its capabilities are that could if you're doing diag work all week that could save you a good 10 to 15 hours the the high resistance join in a wire it will pick it up it has to be, you can't feel the temperature difference and that will pick it up. So, there it is. It's in the flesh. The pictures that I've got on there that I sort of showed to you, I will take off the memory stick and put up on the video so you can see in higher quality. Um, it's, I think it's in a 360p format so they're not the greatest of quality if you want to blow them up on a 42 inch tv but they're there now obviously you've seen it's come comes with its own whatever it is five inch screen uh, yeah got a load of writing there and stuff and some more there this 
is my new favourite toy. I've used it for everything. I've had a check out on absolutely everything. Um, and things that you wouldn't think are hot or cold or anything like that. Thermostats, the other one. Favourite thing, coolant system isn't working right. What is it? Well, it could be, a, we'll start by, with thermostat. No, no, you point at that, you point that at it, and you go, thermostat, is the top hose getting hot? Yep, there we go. Check the rad, you just point it at the rad and it goes, yep, rad's not good. There you go, you found your issue. There's no need for anything else, it's not, you know, touching your hand across it, you will burn yourself. Especially if it's on a Saxo where the manifold's right next to it. Um, job done. If you think you've got any other issues, um, bearings, uh, 2.4 transits, where they've got the, the massive FIAD system that's really prone to going wrong. Yeah, start it up, take it for a drive, come back, point a heat gun at it. That one's failing. There you go. It's not try and listen for the noise with a, a stethoscope or a screwdriver. Even before it starts rattling, you just point it at it and go, job's done. It's that one. Change it. Uh, what else? Sticky brakes. Customers thinking that they've got a, a higher than no, or less MPG or higher gas mileage than normal less gas mileage than normal um the second it comes into the shop you grab that walk outside check the brakes oh look that one's a little bit hotter shouldn't be if it's the front axles are the same and the back axle is the same it's not that but if you've got one front hotter than the other yeah shouldn't be like that there you go found it sticky caliper job done especially older vehicles classics um if you've got a plug, plug on top of a fuel pump um, that's got a poor connection, point that at it, job done. Uh, I know the, obviously Snap-on have released their, their little advert for it and probably a lot of people have gone, oh yeah, of course, you know, Snap-on have released their thing, it's the best thing ever. To be honest, I really think that's one of the best things I've bought in a long, long time. I actually bought two things off the van. This was one, and I'll show you another video for the other one, which isn't new. I've just been left behind with it. Um, this, this bit of kit is downright the best thing in my toolbox. Uh, like the power probe hook, that has its advantages. Uh, but for every every issue that I diagnose with that, I'll diagnose five with this in a lot, lot quicker time than anything else. Rumbly wheel bearing, um, especially if it's a front where it's got an inner and outer race. Yeah, one side will get hotter found it's not guesswork of you know going out on road test up and down the yard ding one side do the other that one's hot up it's that one you run it up on the if you've got a lift run it up on the lift done found cv joints there's it, it the potential is unlimited on what you can do with this and I'm so glad I jumped on the bandwagon now. Um, if you're thinking of buying one, if you're I'm in an R in, it's a lot of money. I understand that. If you can justify it, if you can afford it to start with, it saved me so much time, so much time. In a week, I'd say to be honest, within. A month or two it will have paid for itself just in time it's saved it is fantastic but 
I'm giving you my review on it, unboxing. Obviously I will be using it a lot more in further weeks and months and I will come back with a further in-depth review about it. Um, but at the minute it's saving me time, it's saving me money and yeah that's about it. It is it has its place and its place is ever growing in my box. So that's what I think of it. No doubt there'll probably be people out there saying, Oh, it's uh, you they've done these for years. Yeah, but they've not been this affordable. I think just about every car manufacturer has a heat gun on the line where the cars run down. Yeah, they check the bearings. They're really accurate. They're really expensive. They're forty thousand pound. This isn't. Um, they have their uses, and everything electrical that starts to fail creates heat. Cars are getting more electrical stuff. Let's start getting some stuff to test the heat on it. So that's what I think of it. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you like the content, please subscribe. Check us out over on Facebooks and you know as Motorsport. And I'll see you very again soon. Ciao.